Hygrosome is a company that develops and sells seeds to farmers for a new crop called Carinata. Carinata is a non-food crop that's been designed for energy. It's a sustainable option to growing food crops to use for biofuels. The crop itself is not going to increase emissions of greenhouse gas and it's going to be grown in a fashion that contributes overall to the security and the health of the farm. Transportation is one of the largest greenhouse gas emitters and renewable fuels is one of the key tools that's being used to reduce the amount of emissions of greenhouse gas coming from transportation. When we sell a bag of seed to farmers, it's a 50 pound bag of seed. When the farmer plants that and harvests that, that harvest can be turned into 8,000 liters of jet fuel and six tons of sustainable animal feed. That's a very powerful tool and it's all done without increasing greenhouse gas emissions. We have a focus on agriculture, we have a focus on energy, and we have a focus on climate. And those three areas really make us unique in terms of a company. Agrozoma is indeed a good news story. This is a local company that has grown with significant staff. It has good reach for developing a potential biojet fuel industry that will have positive environmental impact uh, for adding to the possibility of new feed products and of course for offering farmers an additional crop and allowing them to diversify their business. We've gathered the largest collection of Brassica carinata germplasm uh, in the world, close to 800 different types. We have the ability here to generate eight to 10,000 experimental types and evaluate them in the field to assure that we are making the best selection for the environments that they're growing in uh, in the shortest possible time, which will give us the best possible yields, but also oil content. So Agrosoma truly is founded on first class science. Science is a driver of innovation, and innovation is a driver of solutions. So Carinata is an innovative solution to a global issue, which is addressing climate change. This is definitely the way of the future.